So here we are, uh, fifth video, we're going to look at collagen. Collagen is a ubiquitous protein, it's in all connective tissues, all parts of the body. It plays a very important role in the skin. I think collagen is a good illustration of the difference between molecular biology, which is really looking at uh, gene uh, level activity, and the biology of molecules, which is looking at what happens to proteins after they've been uh, transcribed. And the difference uh, between the two is a bit like the difference between having an understanding of the alphabet and an understanding of literature, of Shakespeare. So, of course, when we're looking at the biology of molecules, far more complex than molecular biology. This analogy with the gene being like the blueprint for the design of a bus, uh, and this being the uh, bus routes of a German town, uh, just emphasize the complexity of the biology of molecules. Just to remind you about the formation of proteins, we've got transcription in the nucleus, uh, where we're getting the DNA uh, transcribed to uh, a negative template RNA. That's happening in the nucleus. And then in the ribosomes, in the cytoplasm, we're getting the translation uh, of the RNA to a protein. And uh, once we've got that protein, uh, we're going to be... Uh, combining uh, parts of that, altering parts of that in the Golgi apparatus and then uh, extracellularly go there's going to be further uh, modification of the protein and uh, collagen is a good example of that. Uh, we have um, alpha chains, three alpha chains that form a pro-collagen helix which then moves through the cytoplasm uh, into the extracellular environment uh, where it is changed and modified. Molecules are packed together to form fibrils, fibrils form fibers. And to give you some idea about the uh, scale of events, uh, here we've got the uh, chain of amino acids, here we've got the triple helix, the uh, triple collagen, here we've got fibrils, here we've got fibers. And this is a electron microscopy view of dermal collagen. And those fibers would be 10 micrometers in diameter. Very fine, fine human hair, which would be 70 uh, micrometers uh, in diameter. So it gives you some idea about the scale of things. Here we've got this uh, bird's eye view of dermal papillae. This is really uh, nature spinning collagen fibers to form these very elegant structures. I, I just refer to these as the uh, the conifer trees of the of the dermis, and you can see uh, here some uh, holes where the hair follicles would be uh, penetrating into the uh, uh, hypodermis. So collagen in the skin. Predominantly, it's type 1 and type 3 collagens in the dermis. They're the most prevalent types, uh, and they affect most of the bi biomechanical properties of the skin. Of course, we've got the other types of collagen that we've mentioned in respect to uh, uh, epidermolysis bullosa, type 7 collagen. Uh, there are other collagens, type 4 collagen, present in the skin, but in terms of amount terms. Type 1 and type 3 are the most prevalent. And again we have some uh, MCQs which are going to uh, just help you uh, get some of these things fixed in your mind.